Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to cut it 13 and a half inches. You're going to get the sleeve, and when you cut them, you're going to cut in an angle along the edge. Just like that. That way you don't have no trouble slipping the loop in. Push it there into the sleeve and push it out. If you don't do that, you're going to have trouble. You're going to have real trouble pushing that in. You might get irritated after a while. And then just crimp it just like that. Now, what's real important, when, once you do that, you make that first loop, then you're going to slip your line in right there. That's the snare. Then you're going to get another sleeve, push it in, put it on top. Now these are the spots that I put them on. I put one here, one in the middle, one there. So that's one, two, three. And I'm going to do it on the opposite side. Now here goes the first one. Put it in. Cut it through. Tighten it up a little bit, but make sure it's a little loose so that way it can move around some. That way it'll adjust itself. And you're going to do that five more times. Here, 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 and here. So that way it's going to look like this. So that's how you that's how you put the snares on. Next is you're going to put the, uh, the shock line on. And the reason why I call it a shock line is because it'll absorb most of the shock when you cast it out and also in case there's any uh, heavy or large objects in the water you don't have to worry about rubbing the line this will give it a little bit of elevation so you don't have to worry about dragging or hitting objects on there I mean it's not really going to lift it up that high but still see this is what happens if you don't Keep that right angle on it. You'll be there all day wrestling. With it. So. There's always one. Uh, if that don't work, let me just switch sides here. Okay, now it went through. Now I'm going to show you why I'm, I use the So I'm going to put it in right here, and I'm going to melt the tip of it into a little ball. Just like that, and that's going to act like a, uh, like a grommet or something that it'll stop it. In case, in case the sleeve is weak, that little bit. Hopefully, we'll stop from keeping you from losing your snare in the water. Tighten it up, crimp it down. Okay, now I'm going to attach the swivel. cast it out and be right here so you want to you know, this is optional huh? make that little grumble stop knob on there so that way it's harder for it to slip through uh oh you already see one of my mistakes I did <laughs> I 
that's what happens if you don't pay attention. Make a mistake like that. The last thing you want to do is start wasting your material. Better than catch it now than having to do it all over and waste material. There. Okay, here we go again. important that you do that, but I prefer melting that in. So now you got your shock line. Now there's a couple things you can do right here. Put the weight in. Now what I'll do is I'll get a piece of wire. Yeah, a fairly large piece. And then I'll stick it. I'll stick it in and I'll twist it. So that way it's fixed in one spot. scissors, so I'm going to cut a piece of this knife, it's about maybe a little bit wider than a quarter of an inch, get the chain, take a link off, open the other side a little bit, slip a piece and close it, open the hook in, turn your snare upside down, and then push it through the wire, put the hook facing up, slip it around, Put it back over. Now you have the hook, and you can latch it anywhere you want, right there. So that's how you make a homemade crab snare.